Dear Coach Neil Brown, I am writing to address a matter of concern about the recent success and past failures of the WVU football program. As a coach, you are responsible for maintaining a conducive atmosphere for all players and promoting sportsmanship and team spirit. Unfortunately, from 2019 to 2022, there was a noticeable amount of negative behavior displayed and bad team play in general. Disrespectful comments, aggressive playing, and lack of teamwork are some of the issues that I was observing. These actions undermine team sport principles and create an unpleasant environment for the other players. While I understand that bad days happen, I believe that a certain level of respect and sportsmanship must always be maintained. In saying that, I was confident that you would work on these issues and strive for a better playing experience for the whole team. But year after year, you let us down. As a fan base, we were spoiled. Sure, we knew that we were not Alabama, Georgia, or Ohio State, but we also knew we were not Rutgers, Vanderbilt, or Indiana. To say we were disappointed as a fan base after uh, four of the worst consecutive seasons in school history would be an understatement. We were furious. We wanted you fired as our coach. And guess what? Some fans still feel strongly about that. However, at this time, I am not one of those fans. Have you won back my 100% support? I think it will take another successful year to do that, but you have caused me to pause and reflect a little deeper. I have hope once again. The 2023 campaign was not only successful, but it lit a fire under the ass of Mountaineer fans everywhere. You have managed to win back the support of most fans. Even Brad Smith, the voice of Motown, has had decent things to say about you and this program. What is my hope for 2024? Honestly, anything short of a 10-win season will be disappointing. But to be honest, we as fans are impatient. We want a Big 12 championship. I hope you can address these issues collectively, fostering a mutually beneficial environment that encourages growth and success. In closing, I want to ask you a question. Have you figured out what makes a Mountaineer? It's not the talent they show in high school. Sure, that matters. But it's about the growth that young man has left in him. It's about you as a coach tapping into that potential and teaching him that in West Virginia, we believe in hard work, dedication, honesty, self-motivation, and above all else, passion. Thank you for bringing back that passion. Thank you for igniting that fire in the fan base. And most of all, thank you for taking the time to read this letter. I am confident that you can continue to cultivate a supportive, successful, and both a respectful and respected team atmosphere in 2024. So now, let's go Mountaineers. Go take out two of our biggest rivals in Pitt and Penn State. Continue to make us proud, and we will continue to trust the climb. Thank you. Joy Foster.